What's for dinner? Hey everyone, I'm Chef Z and welcome back to my channel, Chef Z Cooks. Today I'm going to be showing you my favorite way of making chicken parm. I know, chicken parm. Listen, who doesn't love chicken parm? Now, before we get started, I do have to say that chicken parm is one of those dishes that people feel very strongly about. So just know that there are a ton of ways of making this dish. And the way that I personally like to make it is that I like to make this dish entirely in the oven. So as you can probably guess, I won't be frying the chicken. I'll actually be baking it. So if you are watching your figure, I don't know, maybe getting in shape for a wedding or a special event, then this is a recipe that is definitely for you. Now, like always, stay tuned until the very end of the video because I will be sharing some tips and tricks to help you get this chicken parm perfect each and every single time. Let's go ahead and get started. Making chicken parm is super easy and the secret is all about using a good sauce. Now first things first, we want to mix together our breadcrumbs and keep in mind that you can use regular breadcrumbs or panko or even both. We're then going to add some grated parmesan cheese along with some dried basil and some Italian or Greek oregano, a small pinch of salt and some fresh black pepper. We're now going to mix everything until it's well combined and this is going to give our chicken cutlets a beautiful and tasty coating that's definitely going to add flavor to this dish. And once you finish mixing it all together, we're going to set that off to the side until we need it later on. We're now going to begin seasoning our chicken cutlets by using some kosher salt and you want to make sure to use a light hand when seasoning your chicken because honestly, the sauce and the cheese is what gives this dish all of its yumminess. You also want to make sure that when you're cutting your chicken cutlets, you want to make sure to cut them into some thin medium pieces. You don't want them to be too thin and you definitely don't want them to be too thick and you want to try your hardest to actually make sure that they're all uniform. In addition to salt and pepper, we're also going to add just a tiny bit of some garlic powder for extra oomph. And once you've seasoned them on one side, we're going to go ahead and turn them over and do the same thing on the other side. And once you finish seasoning the chicken on both sides, we're going to go ahead and bread them. So we're going to dip them into some whisked eggs and then we're going to dip them into our seasoned breadcrumbs. Now keep in mind that you can definitely use pre-seasoned breadcrumbs if that's what you have on hand or if you're just trying to save on time. So once we've dipped our breadcrumbs evenly on both sides, we're going to go ahead and place them onto a roasting rack because this will help them definitely brown up and crisp up evenly. But no worries if you don't have a roasting rack because a regular sheet pan will definitely do. So once you've coated all of your breadcrumbs, you now know that it's time to actually start baking them. We're now going to set our oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit and once our oven has come up to temperature, we're going to go ahead and place the chicken into the oven and cook it for 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, we're going to go ahead and we're going to flip them over and allow them to cook for an additional 10 minutes. And you want the chicken cutlets to cook all the way through and you also want them to develop a light brown color. Now bonus, this is also a great way of making chicken tenders without frying them in oil and creating a huge mess or if you just want to cut back a little bit on some calories. So after those 10 minutes, we're going to go ahead and take the chicken out and it's really important that you leave your oven on because this will definitely come in handy when we bake the rest of the chicken parm. So now we're going to build our chicken parm and I encourage you to use your favorite sauce and make sure that it's a good sauce and we're going to spread it evenly at the bottom of our baking dish and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to place our cooked chicken cutlets. Now you want to make sure to spread them evenly and you don't want them to overlap too too much. Now when it comes to this dish it's totally up to you just how saucy you want to make it. I don't like to be cheap with the sauce because I love red sauce so I make sure to cover it completely but the choice is totally up to you. 
So once we've built our first layer, we're gonna go ahead and build our second layer. And just like the first time, we're gonna cover it with sauce. And then we're actually going to add the star of the show, which in my opinion is the mozzarella cheese. Now the mozzarella cheese is what gives this dish its wow factor and it's the thing that just makes you want to dip in and eat it. And just like the sauce, it's totally up to you just how much cheese you want to add. My fiance is a cheese lover so I make sure to add a little extra. Now once this dish is completely covered in cheese, we're going to go ahead and bake it at 450 degrees just like we did the chicken cutlets. And we're going to bake it until that cheese has completely melted and it's up to you to decide just how melted you like the cheese i love it when the cheese has begun to caramelize just a little bit so that's how i know that it's definitely done so there you guys have it my recipe for some chicken parm it's a nice little twist that doesn't require you to fry it and i recommend that you serve this dish with either a salad some pasta and some extra sauce on the side until next week, I'm Chef Z, y buen provecho. All right, guys, here are some quick tips to help you get this chicken parm perfect each and every single time. For my first tip, if you're going to be using jar sauce, make sure to use a jar sauce that's really good and one that you really love. In fact, let's help each other out and comment down below and let me know what's your favorite jar sauce. If you use a jar sauce that's not all that great, your chicken parm is literally going to get lost in the sauce. For my second tip, feel free to use regular breadcrumbs or panko breadcrumbs, or you can use a combination of both like I did. If you're only going to use panko breadcrumbs, just know that the panko breadcrumbs are actually a little bit bigger and very crispy, so it may change the texture of your chicken parm just a little bit. For my third tip, you actually don't have to finish baking your chicken parm in the oven. In fact, you can do it on the stove, and if you follow me on Instagram, you actually see me do this all the time. All you're gonna wanna do is take your chicken parm with the sauce, you're gonna put the cheese at the very top, and then you're gonna cover your casserole dish and you're gonna put it on a low flame and you know it's ready once the cheese has melted. Now, if you do it this way, just know that your cheese is not going to caramelize the way it does in the oven. So it may change the color just a little bit, but trust me, it works like a charm. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions, comment down below or visit my website, Chef Z Cooks. Don't forget to join the Chef Z family and click that bell so that you're notified each and every single time I post an all new episode. And if you're hungry and you're looking as to what to make next, go ahead and click right here.